Hey girl, hey, hey girl, hey, hey girl, hey. Okay, so. It's a lot of buzzing going on around here. And I mean that with all due respect, y'all. I really, really do. But hear me out. Y'all remember when Beyonce said in Dreamgirls, she has never met a bitch from the project named Dawn? Well, I'm here to tell you, I have never met a human being where the density of their hair increased at least 40% in the same video. I have never met a human being where their hair increased at least 40% from age 20 to age 40 something, unless you are taking some type of internal supplement. And even that is stretching it. Like seriously, I've been doing hair for over 20 years. And before I was a hairstylist, I was doing my friend's hair when I was six, seven years old. I'm not debating that Beyonce's hair is not long. I don't know if it's long. She barely wears her hair. I don't know if Beyonce hair is long. I'm not saying that Beyonce hair is not long. I'm not saying that Beyonce hair on her head is not real. The real hair that she has, I'm not saying that that's not real. But what I am saying is that video has three different looks of hair. And she said that it was in her archives. She said that she pulled this from her archives. So she didn't even have the decency to pull up a camera like I am pulling up my camera speaking to you right now. As I'm sitting here on my couch, my skin's robe. She didn't have the decency to prop up the phone like all of y'all do. Like y'all doing right now when y'all promoting her product. Y'all parting your hair, you're combing it out. You're doing all the work. She didn't even do half of that. Tina Knowles was scrubbing uh, somebody's hair. I think she did Holly Pete Robinson hair and she was going in. And they said the mint, whatever that sensation was, was amazing. Beyonce didn't show us that experience. And does she have to? Absolutely not. But she posted on her public platform that she was selling hair products. Hair products that everyday women that I know in the trenches, that I know in the beauty salon, that I know that works on set, that I know that works in their kitchen, in their homes, who been using rice water. And for someone who has not worn their hair for over, let's just give her some grace. Let's just say for over five years and I'm being nice. To come to a public platform and ask the consumers to buy her product. And it's so interesting because people are saying, why do you care? Why do you care? Well, to be honest with you, respectfully, I can give two fucks <laughs> if that's Beyonce's real hair or not. But what I do care about is I care about the everyday working woman. I care about the everyday working hairstylists who have their own products. Women who work on set, women who create the illusion to make you think that that's that person's hair when you watch it on TV. I care about them. And I care about someone who people look up to as I did myself who has the audacity to try to fool us into believing that she has been where she has been using sacred. Well, if she has been using sacred, okay, cool. Because I do know that one of the products is rice water. My daughter been using rice water. I know so many people who've been using rice water. She is not selling anything that is special. And to add to what I'm saying, Beyonce doesn't follow any of you all back. Beyonce doesn't like your comments. Beyonce doesn't reply to your comments. Not saying that she has to, but with the love and the support that Beyonce receive, Beyonce would not be Beyonce if the people did not spend their hard working money on her. Let's just keep it real. And hey, it's nothing wrong with that. I have been one of those people. But your engagement with your fans is blah for me. I'm sorry. 
You get on this public platform. You present a show of a video that you said you pulled from your archive. And you still expect people to buy your product? You dropped a perfume line not too long ago. You just dropped the Cowboy Carter album. Like, come on, Beyonce. We want to support you, but I mean, listen. It's inflation out here, my sister. Respectfully, we haven't also seen Tina Knowles here. I'm just saying. Because to be very honest with you, you all talk about Cardi B, Meg The Stallion, Nicki Minaj, whoever y'all feel like talking about. The list can go on and on and on. But the minute someone says, hey, that's not Beyonce's here, it's like the end of the world. And that is a concern to me. Because if Beyonce is your God, if no one can say anything about Beyonce, then it makes me wonder how back in the day they used to say that um, music used to have uh, a backward hidden message in it. It's making me wonder, could that be the case? Because I didn't say anything about Beyonce that Beyonce didn't say about herself. Beyonce posted that, that video of her hair. I didn't post that. She did. And as a hairstylist and as a human being and as a person who supported Beyonce for years and years and years and years, it's just not acceptable for me. And I think that I have the right to say that. And if my words trigger you, then you have to ask yourself why. I guess the hit dog will holler makes sense because if somebody words hit you, ooh, it's tough. And for all the people who say that I am a black woman going after another black woman, this is not about race for me. This is about integrity. This is about all the hardworking women who are in this business, who take this craft serious. That's what it's about for me. It's not about a black woman versus a white woman or me being a black woman. I can't speak against another black woman. I have not spoken against Beyonce. That is not what I did. But to make it even more clear for you, but I don't see Beyonce walking around here with no afros. Jay-Z may have uh, his uh, wig lock. But Beyonce has been wearing weeds for a very long time. And this is the same person that you all said. Her stomach deflated when she said that she was pregnant with Blue Ivy. I didn't say this. I didn't make this up. And you know what the irony is about the whole thing? I believe it was like maybe a year or two years. Well, two years ago, I worked on the TV series Swarm. And, <clears throat> excuse me, if you've seen Swarm, then you know what it's about. But if you have not seen Swarm, it is about a young lady who is obsessed with Beyonce. That she basically kills anyone who says anything about Beyonce that she doesn't like. Shoot, And they hired me to be the department head for the reshoot. And I had to come up with, um, along with the costume designer, 15 looks to uh, imitate or to replicate the different looks that Beyonce had. So I studied Beyonce's hairline. I studied, baby. So I think that it's only fair that the consumers can say, hey, Beyonce, we want to support you. Even though it may be a struggle for some, some still want to support her. But come on, man, make it fair for the people. And if she's selling rice water, y'all y'all already know about the rice water. And uh, products don't grow your hair, okay? Your hair grows from the inside out. It has a lot to do with genetics, environment. It's so many different factors. But products are only designed to manipulate, shape, and mold your hair. That's it. That's all. Say yes to you. With no fucks given and on your confidence, girl.